Good effort by our guys. I thought our guys competed tonight. I thought they showed some uh, some life about them tonight, and I thought they fought hard against another good basketball team. UAB has got a good basketball team, and uh, they're talented. They're experienced. They start, you know, start three seniors, and and uh, they're athletic. They can score from a lot of positions. That our guys uh, came out and really competed, and uh, didn't have to play from behind tonight. We got off to a better start, which is something we were looking for. Uh, got a lead. They took it back. We came back and tied it by halftime, and then uh, some of the same shots that fell in the first half weren't falling in the second half. And, and that, you know, it affects you when you're playing a, a team that good. You go from shooting, you know, from shooting 54 in the first half to 21 in the second half. Uh, some of the same shots we took. Now, we might have took a couple in the second half a little bit sooner than I would have liked. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with the way we competed on the glass. Uh, but, you know, there's some controllable things that we talked about before, David, like, like our, our free throws and our turnovers and, and things that we're in charge of. You know, and you miss 12 free throws, you turn it over 15 times, it puts you back against the wall a little bit. But uh, I thought we did enough tonight to put ourselves in a position to be successful on the glass. I thought we competed on the glass with a very good rebounding team. Uh, you know, we scored, we executed early on with, uh, you know, with what we were trying to do. As long as we're del uh, deliberate about what we're trying to do in the half court and setting screens and moving bodies and moving the ball, you know, we ended up getting some good looks. Now we scored some in transition tonight, which we wanted to try to do too. We want to score early or score late. That's our sort of our mission here offensively. Uh, and, and, and we got some of those early on too. John attacked the basket. We got some threes in transition. Uh, so there were a lot of good things to pull out of tonight. A lot of good things to pull out of tonight uh, other than a win. You know, obviously we like to win a basketball game. These guys are disappointed. It's hard to keep coming. It's hard to keep coming. It's hard to keep bouncing back. It really is. Uh, for, for guys that are 18 and 19 years old that, you know, coach, you keep telling us to work hard, it's going to happen, it's going to work. Well, if they keep doing it, I'm just telling you it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I believe in these kids. Uh, they believe in each other. They trust in each other. They're continuing to work. They come to practice every day and give us everything they have. And, and in the position I'm in right now, that's all I can ask for. And uh, as long as I continue to do that, um, I think we'll ultimately, you know, get, get to the point where we'll start winning some basketball games. And that's, that's what we're all here for. We're not here to stay close and, and uh, feel good about our effort. We're here to win basketball games. And as long as we continue to work hard and do what we're doing, uh, I think the schedule puts us in position. We might be able to do that some here in February. Uh, it is. It's, it's tough to keep bouncing back. But uh, I think our team is uh, together enough that, that, you know, coming in and, and being with those guys in the locker room every day and getting on the floor and competing with them every day, uh, you know, we don't mind it at all bouncing back. So, you know, we're here to do that, and uh, that's what we're going to do going forward until the last buzzer sounds. Uh, coming off the injury, I, I felt good. It didn't, didn't bother me at all. Uh, we got the best medical and strength staff here. Uh, they, they worked around the clock late <laughs> nights to, to try to get me ready for this moment. And, you know, uh, so, you know, we just fell short tonight. And, you know, it's just an, another lesson to, to, to keep getting up every morning and getting back in that gym and, and, and trying to learn to get ready for, you know, the next team because every, every game is a blessing to be able to come out and play. So. No, I'll tell you what it was. You're exactly right. I mean, it, it was a combination of both, but it was also the fact that, that uh, we're playing our small lineup and we had to go to that and we don't do as well. Movement-wise, with that smaller lineup, you know, our, our offense is sort of set, and that, that's probably telling on me. We need a better job of, of having some things our smaller guys can understand what we're trying to do uh, so that we're getting better shots. But, at two during that period of time, I thought we took some quick ones. I thought, you know, we, we had, we're in a position there where we can get to the free throw line, and we, we settled for too many threes during that period of time, you know, and they were tough ones. Uh, that, like I said, you know, first half, we're, we're making those, and we're feeling good about it. When they're not going in the second half, we're not getting second shots because you know, they're long rebounds, and, and sometimes they're getting them out and running with them. So I think our, so, our shot selection and our being a little bit more impatient in the second half had an effect on us there as well, which you're exactly – we're talking about the same thing on the bench that you just brought up. You know, we got to find a way to get these guys some shots manufactured. We did have some open looks. They just didn't fall down, you know, in the second half like they did in the first. He's all right. Uh, he, he, uh, he does so many things for us. Uh, I don't, I've been doing this for a long, long time. I don't know if I've ever recruited and coached a better kid. Uh, he's got a fantastic family, and it starts there. He's disciplined. Uh, in his lifestyles and his mannerisms and all the things that he does off the floor. Uh, he's got so many good qualities that he has before we even walk on the floor. Once he walks on the floor, he plays as hard as anybody out there. He competes. He doesn't remember everything going on. He makes he gambles from time to time, but he, he makes up for it with his effort. And uh, I, I can't think of a, a better representative of our university than his kid, uh, both as a player and as a person. So you know, it's, it's awful good to have him back. I know that. I'm, I, he's a whole lot better in a uniform than he is a suit. 
Uh, that's for sure. And it goes, obviously, he's another weapon for us offensively. But, he, you know, he also rebounds the basketball for us, you know, and that's, that's something we need on the perimeter. He had one big rebound tonight. Like I said, everybody way to back me up on that one. But he's our leading rebounder on the perimeter. Uh, so it helps us there, and he's a great defender. He does a lot of things on the defensive end, too. So uh, it, it's obvious, you know, our team was much more confident with him out there. It's like having your big brother walking around with you when you're at the park, and, and, uh, and uh, the guys were glad to see him back out there. It helped us in practice, too. We did, and, and we had a big, big room. Both those guys can stretch the floor a little bit, and when John's playing well, you know, we get, we get those four guys, including Austin, playing well on the perimeter, we're pretty hard to guard. If those guys are all making plays like we expect them to be able to. Uh, and, and, you know, we just didn't start Andrew tonight, just coming back off of injury. So I, 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 there's a good chance he'll be sliding back in the starting lineup here, you know, our, our next game too. And, uh, and he, he also understands that he's, you know, he's playing starters minutes. It's not about starting, it's about finishing. And when it comes down to it, he's in there in the end of the game. And that's, that's what matters for us. But we, our first group got us off to a great start tonight. Then when you have luxury of being, bringing up somebody like him in and, and lifting you up some, uh, it's crucial. But then, of course, Milos gets in and hurts his back. You know, right away, and and uh, he has to be taken out. And can't play the rest of the game, uh, and so it affected us. And we had to turn small a little bit, uh, too. But but uh, you're right. When we when we have all three of those guys, and that's what we're still searching for. Uh, Najee, I thought stepped up and played as good as he's played in a long time. He had 12 rebounds tonight. Played really hard against two good post players. You know, and when we get we get five or six dialed in at the same time, that's when we'll have a chance to to step forward and be successful.